Here at the Telephone Kids we've looked into how vitamin D and or UV light may be influencing the development of allergic disease in young children. We conducted a research trial where some babies took vitamin D supplements and some took a placebo supplement. We also measured their UV light sunlight exposure using little individual dosimeters that the babies wore on a daily basis for three months. The main findings were that UV light seems to be potentially more important than vitamin D supplementation for young babies in preventing early allergic disease like eczema. This is important because we need to try and reduce the increasing incidence of allergies in our community. And we now find one in five babies have eczema and one in 10 have a food allergy. It's very common. We need to try and find ways that we can reduce babies developing allergies. This is a really beginning of a new phase, a new step where we're trying to look at how maybe UV light potentially is going to reduce allergy disease in our young children. Early findings, but it looks like UV light exposure through sunlight exposure may have a beneficial effect on reducing allergies in children. A message for parents is to still be cautious of the sun. Although we're saying that sunlight may have some beneficial effects on reducing allergy development, we still don't know how much sunlight. So at the moment we're saying expose your children in a sun safe way, so particularly when the sun is not too strong, um, and follow the Cancer Council guidelines on sun exposure, but some sunlight is good, um, we just don't know how much as yet. So the next step of this research is to look further into particularly sunlight exposure that mums have during pregnancy. We often know that allergies actually start before babies are born so we're going to now look at how much sunlight mums have during pregnancy and how that may also help us to reduce allergies in their babies.